Hi! In this video I am going to show you how I sew with machine and stick to make the opening for front bands and neck opening on a knitted cardigan or jacket. This is how the jacket looks now. But before I begin, I would like to talk a little bit about how I got to this stage. First, I would like to talk about the bottom edge here. Uh, I have knitted back and forward. As you can see, these two pieces are not connected. And when I have finished the, my edge, which could be ribbed, double folded as I have done here, or any other version you would like to use on your jacket, doesn't matter. I, um, it's, I find it best to go back and forward, and when I begin on the jacket itself, I add a few stitches here to connect and then I continue in the round. The reason why I add this, these stitches, which is not a part of the pattern itself, is because this is where I'm going to cut later. I would say you need at least four stitches. Then you would have two stitches left on each side when you cut up the middle here. You could do more, that's no problem, but I would say it would be difficult to do less. If you knit um, and use a jacket or cardigan pattern, these will often be stated in the pattern that you, uh, you should add four, six or eight stitches up the middle here um, but, uh, but if you are using a sweater pattern that you are converting into a jacket, then you just add these stitches yourself uh, in the middle front of your pattern. Just split your pattern sheet in half and put these in the middle. And just make sure that your pattern is symmetrical. I also find it better to use the same color so that you get this line here. That will make it easier to, uh, to sew with the machine and to cut afterwards because you have a line on each side to follow. As opposed to here where you can see there is no, no lines here to follow so you would have to focus a lot more to make it straight. Here at the other end I have my neckline. As you can see I have chosen to knit all the way up and just place uh, some yarn here in a contrasting color and I am going to stick the neck opening as well. Another option would be to, when I arrived here, to cast off these middle stitches and then continue back and forward. Uh, the reason why I have chosen this solution here is because I have so many stitches and a lot of pattern so I don't want the job to go from here and up here and knitting pattern on the wrong side back and forward if I am if my pattern was easier and I had fewer stitches I would go back and forward but 
because this is so much work I have chosen to to do an easier option uh, if anyone would like for their cardigan to go back and forward I have a video that shows how I do that and I will link to that one in the end of this video so now I have found my sewing machine and I'm ready to begin I will make machine seams on each side of this grey band of stitches that I have placed here in the front so I begin here and um, now I do um, a seam that goes has stitches that go straight forward And I simply so just caught a thread there. There you go. I will just keep sewing along this edge here between my jacket pattern and this grey band. And I will continue until I arrive at the um, the place where I will make the neck opening. And here I am at the neck opening. If you have done this back and forward, you can stop here and fasten your thread. But as I am going to stick all the way, I will just change my direction and continue to sew along where I have placed my yarn marker here. I will try not to stitch on top of it. I will keep to the side uh, just to uh, make it a little bit easier for myself to remove it afterwards if I have sewn it too thoroughly together with everything else here I might just leave it in so I'll try to avoid that and to the best of my ability I will try to follow the curve I have made here. just end manually just to make sure I don't break my machine needle here on my knitting needle and when I have arrived here at the top I just turn because I will I will stitch along my seam all the way back again but now I will do a zigzag with all the little stitches and this is to secure to secure my edge properly So 
sorry, you didn't see all of that. So, and now I will just continue. like this all the way down to the bottom edge again and um, when I have done this on both sides I will have secured my yarn very well as I have done this twice on each side and then I can begun, begin to cut here in the middle Now I have finished all my machine stitching. I have two seams here on each side. I have found my scissors and I'm ready to begin. And I will begin here at the bottom and I will go in the middle so that there is there are two stitches on each side. And I will I will cut a bit careful to make sure I don't damage my machine seams and when I get here um, I will cut this red yarn and I will continue on this side. I have made my machine seams below my red yarn so I will stick on top of it just to keep some space between my machine seaming and my cutting here. So now my jacket looks like this and I'm ready to begin the front bands and the buttonholes. <laughs> 